What's going on guys, Jacob here and welcome to the new video, uh, let's begin. How is it going guys? It's uh, Tuesday I believe, um, made some progress with data science finally, I made like hard tasks and it's about 10 or 11 p.m. I'm still here, but I'm about to go home. See ya. I haven't done any notes this week. <laughs> That's true. Um, I decided to mostly work on data science tasks since this is kind of important. And I felt like I don't really understand many concepts. I didn't really like spend time for uh, aggregation method, displaying stuff on the graphs. Yeah, I literally just went through basics and now I've done a lot of those tasks. So let me uh, go through the first example. Uh, there is a data set called points and this is, it's, it's basically a data set which is made from the points with some truck ID. So basically all of the points which belongs to truck ID 1, those are like, um, they are like the location on a map uh, with different time timestamps. As you can see here and the nice thing which I've done is I I found their start and their end but with the nice way let me show you this so as you can see here it's it's basically one line one liner pretty good one and uh, what I do here is I filter it like I filter the points data sets up time column and I use the method is in and then I group by, by truck ID. So basically because of this, I can get the whole row, which gives me the ID. Let me show you. The start, as you can see here, time, truck ID one, and same here. So this is basically my first, <laughs> my first uh, reaction on a huel. I just mix it with water. I put like um, two and a half spoons, so it should be like 500 calories. Um, yeah, let's see what I should do with this. Wow, wow. I'm surprised, it's much better than I thought. It's my first time trying this and it's good. So, well, I guess I'm the whole team right now. All right, another thing here, uh, which I've done is vectorize harvest sign function. Yeah, I got it from Stack Overflow, but I apply it to the whole, um, to the whole data set. And with this, I calculated the speed. And I also here, after I calculated distance, uh, from the harvest sign and first of all what is harvest sign function it basically take the lat and long um, which is x and y on a map and it gives us the distance from through that in kilometers and by that later on uh, i made again the vectorized operation which is super fast so i don't have to iterate through every object i made a query like an sql and it applies to the whole uh, table and i counted the speed with this. Another nice thing which I've learned is how to use the apply method. So basically if you want to uh, get, for example, um, cars or buses, which uh, drives faster than 80 kilometers per hour, what we do, we can first group by it, group by our data set, get the, the max speed, um, which I counted like before, it's not important for now. And then I use the function uh, apply Inside this, I used the lambda with this condition and I resetted the index. And it gave me the data frame with all of the cars or buses which uh, drives more than 80 kilometers per second. Um, there's another task uh, with plotting. Uh, I'm not the big uh, fan of plotting as you can see after this graph, but the nice thing which you can do is you can iterate through some data set and then plot each of all 
each of its record, as you can see here. And then you have like a huge graph. Unfortunately, this is not the best graph because first I cleaned the data a little bit and it's a little bit fucked up. <laughs> There's also a nice example which I've done, uh, which is f dynamic filtering. Uh, le let's call it this way. So basically, first I iterate through some, through continents, through continents name. Then I group by my data set by continent and the date, the year actually. Yeah, I think it's a year. You cannot see here, but it's the year. And then um, I basically plot the filtered. Um, data as you can see grouped female it's already grouped by and then I filter it by a uh, conti and uh, the years and I make it to the list oh yeah and I made some fancy seaborn swarm plot um, graphs <laughs> more of those bad boys fancy graphs now you might think yeah I haven't done that much uh, but trust me those data science tasks took me a lot simply the first line which I showed you, the one-liner, for example, I had to figure it out for like two hours to make it. I made first like some other functions like iterations. I tried to search Stack Overflow for a good answer and yeah, it's not good. You have to try, then you fail, but in some point you got to the results. I've been created the neural network over here, which is really, really simple one. I didn't even know what am I doing, literally, like, what's my math behind it, but I guess in some point I want to try everything, so why don't? I mean, I want to do it anyway in the future, so I couldn't wait. And I made a, like a model which, the, which has accuracy 98% on the, <laughs> the simplest first, let's say, hello world to machine learning to uh, guessing the numbers. So here, as you can see, um, this is a 4. And this is our prediction and it gets four but for example here uh, yeah it looks like three it looks like it looks like nine but it's for sure three but look at this yeah it didn't get it it, it thought it uh, it's a two let's let's move a little bit further here's four yeah it, it got it <laughs> dogs versus cats date data set and I kind of create the convolutional network. Uh, I literally cannot say this. Uh, it's also made with tutorial, but it was kind of fun. Uh, so now uh, I can predict if the photo shows the cat or the dog. This is the neural network over here. Uh, so let's let's go and let's see. Uh, yeah, here I trained the model. Uh, yeah, let's see how does it look like. So the accuracy is actually like. 62% which is not that bad and it was trained uh, on a CPU not a GPU because I don't have any Nvidia card I have MacBook uh, that sucks maybe I'll find some other way but yeah anyway let's find it out so case um, so for now it predicted that this is um, dog but it's cat <laughs> let's let's try another one uh, yeah oh shit it's actually hard but it predicted that this is a dog and this is a dog. Let's try another one. Oh shit. Okay, now it failed because this is a cat and it told us that this is a dog. Uh, same, it failed. Okay. Wow, it predicted this is a dog and yeah, it's kind of dog. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was it for this week. And now I wanted to tell you a little bit story. So basically tomorrow, which is Tuesday, 10 a.m., I should have go to Gran Canaria for the biggest hackathon in my life. It, take, it, it was supposed to be like five days hackathon for 300 people from all around the world. The biggest, the nicest one. 
it was supposed to be fucking good weather over there. And you know what happened? They fucking cancelled the whole event because of the coronavirus. So guys, stay healthy, uh, subscribe to my channel, like, comment what do you think and see you next time.